In this tutorial, I will uh, going to explain how to assign the different types of the support at the base of the columns. Uh, so the tutorial is rather very useful for the beginners uh, in SAP 2000. Uh, so on the screen, you are seeing one G plus one structure. So having the number of columns. So at the support, at the base of the column, what are the different types of the support we can assign into SAP 2000? So that we'll discuss now. Uh, now here, uh, we know that generally to any structure at the base, we can provide the four types of the support. First is the either it is a fixed support or it is a roller support or it is a hinge support or sometimes it is a spring supports also. Uh, so there are some examples where the springs are also uh, provided, can be provided at the base of the column. So which are those case? Few examples are uh, if there is a soil structure interaction, specific study is there. So in that case, the soil is replaced by elastic spring and the properties of the soil, different uh, property of the soil is used to calculate the, the spring stiffnesses. And just the soil is replaced by elastic spring. That is one example. Second, in the case of base isolations, isolators are provided in the case of seismic resistant building. So the base isolators are also replaced by elastic spring. So whatever the properties of the isolators, are assigned to the spring. And so the spring will represent the, that isolator. So in such cases, we can assign the, uh, the spring type of the supports. Uh, now, before to go for how to assign the, uh, the supports at the base, uh, so I will show one page. So it is from uh, analysis manual in uh, SAP 2000. So these are the four types of supports as, as I mentioned. So this is the, first type of the support it is a hinge support so what is what are the restraint here okay what are the restraint or what is the property of each type of the the supports so that we'll discuss here because basics are very important uh, now hinge support we know what is a hinge support so it can be move in any direction it can be rotate move in the sense it can be rotate in any direction but it will not translate in either x direction y direction or in z direction so this translation in x y and z in sap 2000 is represented by the displacements u1 u2 u3 so this is the global axis x y and z so the translation in x direction this is represented by a letter u1 okay translation in y direction this is represented by a letter u2 and translation in vertical direction is represented by the letter U3. Okay, so these are the three translations and the rotations with respect to X. Okay, so that is represented by R1. Rotation with respect to Y, it is represented by R2 letter and rotation with respect to vertical axis Z is represented by a letter G3, Z, Z3, uh, sorry, R3. Okay, now, about the hinge support, okay, about the hinge support, what is the restraint? Okay, so as I said, what is the property of hinge support? Only the rotations are possible. Rotations with respect to X, Y, and Z axis are possible. Okay, and what is not possible? Translations are not possible. So this is a restraint. So restraint that is in X direction, U1, U2, U3. These are the three restraints for the hinge support. So this is a, so here it is mentioned. That is the first, it is a joint number one, joint number one and possible restraints U1, U2, U3, okay. Then, then second, this is a roller support, okay. Now we know roller can slide. A roller can slide in U1 direction, in X direction and in Y direction, roller can slide, okay. There is no restraint. So there is no restraint U1 and U2, but it cannot slide in the vertical direction because there is a column and the roller is provided at the base. So therefore, vertical displacement is not possible. Therefore, U3 is one restraint. U3 is one restraint for roller support. What is about rotations? So rot yes, rotations are possible. So rotation with respect to X, Y, and Z axis are possible. So easily can rotate. So therefore, there is no restraint about the rotations. So therefore, for the roller support, there is only one restraint that is a U3. 
only one that is u3 is the restraint then third type of the support that is a fixed support it is called as a fixed or rigid support okay so it mean that it will not translate in any direction and also it will not rotate so this is a fixed support is a support which provides maximum restraint so this is a joint number 3 so there are three translational re translational restraints u1 u2 u3 and three rotational restraints r1 r2 r3 and four this is a fixed up this is a uh, spring type of the support so what is a spring so spring in the sense it deforms also and it can translate so translation is also possible there is no restraint about u1 u2 u3 and the rotation is also possible okay so there is no uh, restraint about the rotation so therefore the springs type of the support is the support where there is a there is no restraint so therefore this is a joint number 4 where there is a no restraint okay so this is the basics about the the type of the restraint types of the restraint okay now so this is for the, we are discussing about the which type of the frame 3d frame so the figure below there is a 2d frame is there okay so 2d frame Uh, so what is the change in this okay so first roller support is there so what is the property of roller support roller only can slide roller can only slide so here this is a 2d frame so it is a plane frame it is only the plane frame so so in which direction it will slide easily so in u1 direction it will slide in u1 direction it will slide and rotation yes rotations also uh, so rotations are also possible at the roller support so therefore the first type first type is this okay first joint is roller support only what is not possible translation in vertical direction is not possible so what is the restraint restraint is about u3 translation otherwise r1 r2 it will be it will be zero then second it is a fixed support it is a fixed support that means translation as well as rotations at this point is not possible okay so therefore see here only x and x and uh, global since it is a plane frame only axis is x and z so x in the sense it is u1 x in sense it is u1 and z in the sense always it later is u3 so here u2 is absent since it is a plane frame so for the fixed support for the fixed support so what are the restraint u1 u3 and rotation rotation is with respect to r2 so these are the restraint for the 2d frame the fixed support then the hinge support these are the restraints u1 and u3 okay now so these are the basic types of the supports and what are the possible restraints at each type of the support now we will enter into the sap 2000 software okay so this is the model so already there is a hinge type of the support is already provided now i want to check the restraint what are the restraint of this type of the hinge type of the support okay so just i will cancel i will take only one window okay so this is a plan of the building at the base level at the base level so it is z equal to 0 z equal to 0 okay now to see the properties of the hinge support whatever the provided to the structure just select all the the nodes at the base okay then the command is assign joint assign joint and first it is restrained assign joint restrained okay so here there are this is a fixed support hinge support then this is a roller support and no support then first since already to this model hinge support is provided so hinge support and it is a 3d building so translation there are three translational restraints which are those translation which are those translation in one direction two direction and it is a three direction so it is a u1 u2 u3 these are the three restraints these are the three restraints so therefore it is the name of the command it is assign joint restraints or this is a restraints okay so just 
see okay now this is a hinge support okay so this is the hinge support how many restraints u1 u2 u3 okay these are the three restraints so in sap also this so translation one two three are the restraints while as there is no restraint about the rotation so hinge support can rotate in any direction okay so this is the first type of the support just i will close this apply and close okay this is a for, for the first type of the support now we'll change the support okay and now how to change all the supports again select all the nodes at the base nodes at the base and then assign joint restraint same command okay now we'll provide the fixed support okay this is a fixed support now just see uh, to the screen on the screen when we click on this particular box in this fixed support what changes going to happen here just observe this when we click this see so it is a fixed support so all six uh, the restraints are there so that is three translation three rotations okay so in the manual it is a translation u1 u2 u3 r1 r2 r3 these are the restraints these are the restraints so just i will show so this is a fixed support this is a fixed support it is a node node number 3 okay so it is u1 u2 u3 r1 r2 r3 six uh, restraints are there okay so these are the six restraints for the fixed support okay so this is the type number second again i will close this then next now again now we will change the support to the third type that is roller support okay now roller support how many restraints initially itself we must know this so this is the roller support okay so this is the roller support how many restraints it is joint number 2 how many only one u3 restraint is there only one u3 type of the restraint is there now in sap 2000 we will see how many restraints okay now select all the joints then assign assign joint restraint okay now this is the third one a roller when we click on the roller see what happens only u3 only u3 is the restraint so here joint number two again check this is u3 only one restraint is there that is in the translation in the vertical direction is the support number three okay then say close okay apply and close in this way we have to change the support next now now uh, we will apply the spring type of the support that is the type number four then to apply a spring type of the support first of all whatever the support given to the structure remove it and then assign the new spring so how to remove it first of all select all the nodes at the base then assign joint a restraint and this is a none okay that is no support no support in the sense there is no restraint so when we click on this see there is a uh, that is no restraint in the translation no restraint about the rotations okay then apply and okay now see if we see the 3d view okay so these are the columns these are the columns without base these are the columns without base okay now again we'll see the plan okay now we'll assign the spring at the base how to assign the spring see select all the nodes at the base select all the nodes at the base then here assign joint assign joint and not restrain here the springs are there then it is spring okay then type of the spring simple spring advanced coupled uh, six by six springs different types of the springs we can assign at the base of the column based on based on our study user study we can assign the type of the support so here we will assign a simple type of the support we'll assign the simple type of the support just
so assign joint and the spring assign join the spring okay so see now these are the uh, see simple spring simple spring stiffnesses so the uh, whenever we are assigning the spring the spring has a stiffnesses so there are three translation stiffness and three rotational stiffness then so calculate those stiffnesses using some equations so that is in the case of uh, one code asc41 so the soil is replaced by the elastic spring and in that particular code the some equations are given so using the soil properties the stiffnesses of the spring in three translation direction and three rotation directions are estimated so using those equations calculate the spring stiffnesses and just put here uh, so for the this thing uh, i have just put a value 111 in this case and then say okay then apply and okay now see so these are the the springs have been assigned so just we can see in the 3d view also so these are the three three this thing uh, springs have been uh, have been assigned so see so degree of freedom of the spring, uh, spring supports are six that is three translation and three rotation is degree of freedom so there is no restraint at the base so in this way the spring support is to be provided then how to remove this spring again it is a different command is there so select all the nodes at the base then assign joint then springs and here at the base here at the base it is delete existing springs delete existing springs so just click it and then always it is apply and okay apply and okay so we have removed the uh, the spring at the base now we'll assign the other type of the support because the support must be there so therefore again select all the nodes then assign joint restraint then say for example initially it was a uh, hinge support so hinge support apply and okay okay so we can check for the 3d model also okay so this is the symbol for the the hinge support this is symbol for the hinge support if the fixed support the symbol is like this it is the fixed support now the symbol is just like a triangle so it means it is a hinge support so in this way uh, the supports are to be assigned at the base of the column okay so thank you